in consumer products, the package is often an important part of the product. So when we're talking about the four Ps and talking about product, oftentimes we have to talk about packages as well. And let's go ahead and start with a couple of definitions. FMCG, CPG. FMCG is the acronym for Fast Moving Consumer Goods. CPG is the acronym for Consumer Packaged Goods. And oftentimes people use those interchangeably. These are the uh, consumer products that are in packages that are often in grocery stores, drug stores, mass merchandise stores like Walmart. If you think about it, when you walk down the aisle of a grocery store, for the interior, I'm not talking about the perimeter where there's a lot of things like meat, deli, dairy, but in the perimeter where you're walking up and down the aisles, many if not most of those products are in packages, whether they're cereal products or cookie products or canned goods, frozen goods, and so on and so forth. Same is true for drug stores, which have a lot of those food products, but then they also have a lot of uh, HBA, health and beauty aids, over-the-counter pharmaceuticals, and so on. That's also true in mass merchandise stores like Walmart, where they have all of those types of products. Plus, they've got other departments like toys, where they've got a lot of products that also come in packages. So let's talk about those packages. And when we're talking about packaging, we can talk about functional packaging and packaging graphics. And let's start with the functions of packaging. Contain the product, protect the product. That is often a very, very primary function. It's how the product uh, is, is contained. Obviously, the, the graphics on the package are very, very important for promoting and getting information about what's there. And the package often facilitates storage use and adds to the convenience of the product. Now, a package can either be a flexible package or a rigid package. Now, a flexible package, as you consume the product, the package can crumble in, if you will. It's, it's flexible, if you will. So uh, potato chips would be a perfect example of flexible packaging, unless, of course, you put those potato chips in a rigid package, like Pringles in a rigid cylinder. Frito-Lay has lots and lots and lots of uh, flexible packages for their snack foods, but they came out with a line called Stacks in rigid plastic canisters to hold stackable uh, products. Another example of a flexible package would be sugar. Uh, as you uh, pour sugar out of that bag, the bag, the flexible bag, you know, can get smaller, but you can buy sugar, especially smaller packages of sugar in rigid boxes that retain their shape as you pour it out. The graphics on packages are often very, very important for conveying information. Package design firms oftentimes help marketers come up with the very, very best kind of packaging graphics. One of the more famous uh, products is Wheaties, and Wheaties changes their front panel uh, often to take uh, into account who the popular athletes are and who the current winners are. Here's one of their promotional packages that has the Super Bowl champions on the cover. Package graphics also include necessary information like NLEA uh, data, Nutritional Labeling Education Act. So when we turn the Wheaties package on its side, we see all of the nutrition facts there. An important part of packaging graphics is also the UPC code, the universal product code. That is a series of thick and thin vertical lines, barcodes, that are readable by scanners. That represents numbers used to track products. It's kind of hard to overemphasize the importance of the UPC code because in addition to allowing for very, very rapid checkout without any errors, it allows for the retailer to rapidly change prices. No need to sticker prices on the individual products. It also allows for very, very efficient inventory management. So the UPC code, a very, very important graphic on many of the packages that are in stores like Walmart, grocery stores, drug stores, and so on. Yeah, when we look at packages, there are lots of components to it the branding, the 
product information, sometimes directions for use. If it's a food or beverage product, the nutritional information, of course, the UPC code. Oftentimes, if you turn the product around, there's good information there, a picture of the product. If it's a food product, sometimes there's recipes there, and on and on and on. The package is a very important part of the product in uh, consumer packaged goods, fast-moving consumer goods.